Right friends, welcome back to Current Affairs and from 26th week onwards, we started uh, presenting various topics in capsule form. During 26th week, we presented uh, 8 capsules and new set of glands and questions and answers pertaining to 26th week will be uploaded within 2 to 3 days and we came to 27th week and during 27th week also some capsules will be uploaded topic wise and the first capsule we have selected is Bangladesh at the crossroads and all of you are familiar with the Holy Artisan Bakery in upmarket Gulshan area that is a VIP area frequented by several VIPs recently around 20 people were killed and two security forces personnel were killed and six terrorists were killed and in this backdrop we thought of presenting this topic Bangladesh at the crossroads and what are the reasons for the violence and all these things we are going to discuss now. So, Bangladesh, this is a South Asian country, please look into this map, 5 Indian states, you can clearly see maximum border Bangladesh has got with West Bengal. The total border of Bangladesh with India is 4096 kilometers and out of which the maximum border is with West Bengal and the five states having border with Bangladesh in India or West Bengal, Tripura, Meghalaya, then Assam and Mizoram. So, let us look at what happened during the past 2-3 years. Secular bloggers are being murdered for the past 2-3 years. Then recently an Italian aid worker was killed and subsequently an agriculturist from Japan was murdered and several Buddhist monks, similarly Hindu priests and overall during the past 2-3 years around 40 persons were brutally hacked to death by the radical Islamists in Bangladesh and recently Holy Artisan Bakery in Gulshan area which is in the upmarket area of Dhaka frequented by VIPs was attacked and 20 persons were taken as a hostage and killed and subsequently two security personnel were killed and six terrorists finally lost their lives and one terrorist was caught alive. And to understand the terrorism of uh, Bangladesh, we have to go back to 1941. In the year 1941, at the time India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, everything was united as British India and at the time Syed Abdul Allah Maududi founded Jamaat e Islami and his theory was forming a country based on religion. This was formed in 1941, subsequently in the year 1947 when India and Pakistan got separated, then two branches were separately opened, one is Jamaiti Islami Pakistan and the other one is Jamaiti Islami Hind and this was prior to 1947, all of you are familiar with the separation of India in 1947, India on one side and Pakistan on the other side and in those days that means 1947 to 1971, Pakistan towards western part was called West Pakistan and Pakistan towards eastern part was called East Pakistan and there was a race of Bengali nationalism and separatist movement for separation of East Pakistan and subsequently Bangladesh Liberation War took place in the year 1971. With India's support, Bangladesh that means the then East Pakistan was separated in 1971. And during Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, Jamaati Islami that means at that time Jamaati Islami Pakistan opposed independence of Bangladesh and in those days it was believed that they committed several atrocities during 71 war in connivance with Pakistan army. That means Jamaati Islami Pakistan opposed Bangladesh separation and they supported Pakistani army and in those days around 3 million people were slaughtered. 
that means 3 million people were killed lakhs of women were raped and millions of people were displaced from their homes and it was firmly believed that jamaat islami pakistan supported pakistani army in 1971 and subsequently after the independence of bangladesh jamaat islami was banned and again it was made legal after the assassination of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in 1975 and subsequently the birth of Jamaati Islami Bangladesh or you can say Bangladesh Jamaati Islami took place. Right? And if you go back to 1971, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Bangabandhu, he was the founder of Bangladesh and at the same time first president since 1971 and he was associated with Awami League and after coming back to power in 1971, he banned Jamaat-e-Islami in 1973 as I have already told you because of the reason Jamaat-e-Islami connived with Pakistani army. That's why Sheikh Musibur Rahman banned Jamaat-e-Islami in 1973. And in 1975, Sheikh Muzibur Rahman was assassinated on August 15. And later on, Jiaur Rahman became the fourth president of Bangladesh. And he started Bangladesh Nationalist Party. And ban on jamaat e islami was uh, relaxed and legalized in 1979. And if you come back to 2016, the present Prime Minister is Sheikh Hasina. She is the daughter of Sheikh Muzibur Rahman Bangabandhu, the founder of Bangladesh, first president of Bangladesh, his daughter and she is the Prime Minister at present. And she represents Awami League and at the same time wife of Jiaur Rahman who was the fourth president, became prime minister for two terms during 91, 96 and 2001 to 2006. And now she is representing another party that is Bangladesh Nationalist Party. So, one side daughter of Sheikh Muzibur Rahman is the present prime minister and wife of Jiaur Rahman is another leader who represented the country as prime minister for two terms. That means the entire country is revolving around these two leaders representing Awami League and Bangladesh Nationalist Party almost for the past 25 years. Right? And if you look at Bangladesh Jamaati Islami, its previous name, as I have already told you, Jamaati Islami Pakistan prior to 1971, as I have already told you, it supported Pakistan army during Bangladesh Liberation War, and it was banned by Sheikh Muzibur Rahman and legalized by Jiaur Rahman in 1979. Later on, it became an ally of Bangladesh Nationalist Party. And the present government led by Sheikh Hasina started International Crimes Tribunal in 2009. The most important development is the start of International Crimes Tribunal in 2009. And several leaders of Bangladesh jamaat e islami are being executed or imposed with life sentence because of war crimes committed in 1971. And because of the death sentence and life imprisonments granted by International Crimes Tribunal in Bangladesh by the present Awami League government led by Sheikh Hasina, several Islamist groups were infuriated, especially Bangladesh jamaat e islami and other Islamist groups are infuriated and started attacking various secular bloggers, priests and foreign workers like that. So, this is all the history behind the escalation of violence in Bangladesh during the past 2-3 years. The basic reason is starting International Crimes Tribunal in 2009 and subsequent imposition of life sentence and death penalties on Bangladesh Jamaati Islami leaders. And there is a pertinent question who are behind these attacks in recent times including holy artisan bakery and the world believes there is a presence of Islamic state and Al Qaeda in Indian subcontinent and Bangladesh government 
denies the involvement of either Islamic State or Al Qaeda in Indian subcontinent. Bangladesh government does not recognize the existence of these two groups in Bangladesh. And Jamaatul Mujahideen, Bangladesh, this is one group and Bangladesh Jamaiti Islami along with its supporting fringe elements are believed to be responsible for the attacks during the past 2-3 years. So, this is all the history behind the escalation of violence in Bangladesh. And if you look at the economy of Bangladesh as a whole, Bangladesh economy is growing at 6 to 7 percent every year. And the government exports from Bangladesh constitute more than 25 billion dollars. And it is having secular constitution. And if you look at India and Bangladesh, I have already told you there are five states having border of around 4096 kilometers with Bangladesh from Indian perspective. Five states have got long border of 4096 kilometers and if you look at India Bangladesh relations in recent times they are increasing substantially and recently government announced the railway line between Agartala and Akhaura. Please look into this slide. Second thing is NTPC joint venture with Bangladeshi firm is constructing Rampal Dharmal power station that is 1320 megawatt and at the same time Reliance announced the construction of LNG based 3000 megawatt power plant at Meghna Ghat near Dhaka. Then Ashuganj river port recently 1000 tons of rods reached Ashuganj river port. Please look into this slide. Ashuganj river port is going to be developed as a gateway to northeastern part of the country. And at the same time railway line from Agartala is being extended to subroom. Please look into this slide. From subroom with a bridge on river Feni, subsequently Chittagong port can be accessed. So, in recent times the relationship with the Bangladesh by India is on upswing and the violence by radical elements in Bangladesh is the serious cause of concern not only for Bangladeshis but also neighboring India also. And whoever are behind these attacks, one pertinent point is it may derail the Bangladeshi economy which is growing at around 6 to 7 percent in recent years. Let us hope better times to come in Bangladesh. Right friends, with this let us conclude capsule 1 that is Bangladesh at the crossroads. Please wait for other capsules which are coming up in the next few days. Thanks a lot. Thank you.